or do you disagree with what is in his answer? If he respond and his response is a lie, it's perjury, then my documents will prove that no, he lied no, and his no, response. No, 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 no. It's his version. First of all, do you understand what perjury is? Yes, I, I even understand perjury what perjury is a is. lie. I no, know what perjury you means. Perjury is a statement, a, a false statement made under oath. So exactly, and I got documents that prove he was lying. He you don't put, understand. He, what? He, it's a false statement document. made under he oath. Okay, what's going on, guys? This is JP, and I got to I got to talk about this. Uh, I saw this on Pink Book Lessons. Uh, she was talking about this, and so she did a reaction, and so I'm doing a reaction to her reaction. All right, so and I'm using her video since I use her stuff. So I'll give a shout out to Pink Book Lessons. Uh, I like her stuff anyway. So anyway, uh, this this what you're hearing here is an argument with a lady and a judge. Uh, the lady wants to sue the guy up in the top corner with the white shirt. She wants to sue him because he supposedly stood her up on a date or they just did one date. Not really clear yet what happened with this. But either way, she's uh, suing him for emotional distress because him canceling the, the date or not showing up, whatever happened, caused her so much emotional distress that she wants to sue him for $10,000. ten thousand dollars for her emotional distress over a date that possibly didn't happen or it only happened once so uh pink with lessons she did uh, you know i like the way she was disgusted so i'm gonna let that part stay in it and um uh, and just listen to this man just just listen to it it's it's crazy as i don't know what so let's try this out Why did he testify to something that he lied about? It's he, a statement made, a he, false statement made under oath. Bottom line is, you said it's a criminal offense, so I will send it to circuit court. Are we done here? No, no, you don't. You don't. Okay, so you know you're catching the attitude now. All right, so I'm gonna move it a little further. Um, she talked a little bit, but it's not the part I want to get to. But I'm gonna move it a little further because this woman is really crazy. Um, and just showing what's out here on the dating cycle. You know, y'all keep you know women talk about men, but this this is some of the shit the man dealing with. So, just hold tight. Everybody is now talking about Quashante Zay in court. It went viral. She had a back and forth with a judge. Just silly. And we're going to get into that in a second. But Richard, he's never been in court before. Never been sued before. Never been in trouble. A law-abiding citizen got dragged into court by a black Karen. A black Karen who's always in court suing somebody. 91 court cases in Flint, Michigan. 91 cases involving Quashante. Her biggest lawsuit that she filed was against the Flint PD for $300 million. And then she told them, I'll give y'all a discount if you want to split it up into payments over two and a half years. I'll chop it down from $300 million to about 20 to $30 million. But y'all already know what happened there. They threw that case out. Now, and, and this is the thing, everybody will look at the pretty face. And they'll forget all about the crazy. All about the crazy. She probably got a nice body and everything. But nobody's looking at the crazy. And that probably got a dude caught up. He saw the little pretty face. She probably had a nice little body or something. But he didn't see the crazy. That's what I'm telling you. Crazy is crazy, man. Crazy is crazy out so quick she sued rental car companies like enterprise and avis general motors at&t the united states postal service comcast fedex chase bank a modeling agency a rehab center dozens of cases and this is not the only man that she sued like this either she sued another man for ten thousand dollars too Quashante also found herself as a defendant a few times for money owed to landlords on properties that she rented. And in those cases, Quashante countersued. She was allegedly prosecuted for writing over $1,000 in checks from her bank account with no money in it. One of her claims was that Flint PD was stalking her, and I'm assuming because she got a bunch of traffic violations. 
for no proof of insurance, expired tags and registration, and driving on a suspended license. Those interactions with Flint PD is how she came up with a $300 million lawsuit. It's safe to say that Richard, he did not know what he was getting involved with. She was still grieving over her mom. She and her mother was really close, close in age as well. Her mom was about 14 years old when she had Quashante. And Quashante blamed Richard for all of her emotional issues. So guys, you might want to be careful out there. You can get sued for not even showing up for a date. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into this crazy video. Um. Okay, so y'all got the backstory now on this crazy woman. Now, watch how she reacts to the judge. Big man hadn't said too much. He's not going to say too much. But watch what she does. Just interaction with the judge. All right. Just pay attention to this crap. Quashante Short, Q-A-S-H-O-N-T-A-E-S-H-O-R-T. Okay, and Miss Short, I don't. Okay, well, I'll the Twitter version. I don't even understand what this is about. I'm sorry, I, I had to. In the background. I'm actually at the airport, so I had to go outside. It looks like um, they just um, departed a flight. I mean, uh, they just arrived a flight. In here. You know, what is it, intentional affliction of emotional distress? Yes. Is that the claim? Yes, okay. it is. That's that's not something that's really justiciable in, in district court. Uh, I'm sorry, what do you, I can't hear you. I said that's not something that's justiciable in, in, in district court. That has to be uh, brought in circuit court. So you said it's not permissible oh, in district court. It has to be um, taken to circuit court. That's an equitable action. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mr. Jordan, let me just ask you this. Are you planning to uh, represent yourself on this? Uh, I, I, to be honest with you, sir, I, I, I thought this was just going to be thrown out. Uh, it was we had a date, one date and nothing else after that and now i'm being sued for ten thousand dollars it was i don't see how this is going to go any further i think it's a waste of your time the problem is this you know if you think it should be dismissed you know you need to file the appropriate motion you need to file a motion to ask for that a letter in that letter he he lied and then that's what brought forth the perjury. It was never perjury in the beginning. It was per perjury after his response. Well, you can't you can't say. Listen, he has he has the right to put whatever is in the answer. I'm not saying he can't. But count. you can't do you can't add another count because you don't like or you disagree with what is in his answer. If he respond and his response is a lie, it's perjury, then my documents will prove that no, he lied no, and his no, response. No, 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 no. It's his version. First of all, do you understand what perjury is? Yes, I, I understand, understand what perjury, perjury is a is. lie. No, I you know don't. what perjury you don't. means. Perjury is a statement, a, a false statement made under oath. So exactly, what and I got documents that prove he was lying. He you don't understand. He, what? He, it's a false statement made under he oath. When did he testify to something that he lied about? It's he, under statement made, a he, false statement made under oath. Bottom line is you said it's a criminal offense, so I will send it to circuit court. Are we done here? No, no, you don't, you don't understand, ma'am. Okay, so y'all notice how she got upset when she was losing this fight because she realized she did the paperwork wrong. Uh, she can't add something in once she already filed her paperwork. You know, just because she talked to the guy and told me he lied, you can't go back and add something, then try to file that. You know, and say that in court. Um, she got mad. She started acting out. Now she read dismissed the judge. That's the crazy shit. She read dismissed the judge. Are you done? Are you through? Are you done? All that attitude. And this is a 40 something year old woman. So. Imagine, you know, one-on-one -on -one with this chick. 
But guys, be careful. I'm telling you. Perjury is a false statement. I know exactly what perjury means. I know what perjury means. Are we done here? No, you don't. Criminal offense or not? What statement? I don't see anything in the complaint that says he made some false statement on the roll. Because you don't know what happened. You're on the outside looking in. You're on the outside looking in. So anything you put on that document. Wait a minute. You are the plaintiff. Are we done here? You have to lay out your allegations properly. Are we done here? No, we're not. Exactly what perjury means. No, we're not. Do not insult my intelligence. You have to lay. Do not insult my you intelligence. You have to lay your. You have to lay your. Please do not you have insult to lay my your Complaint out. It has. You have to allege this in the complaint. You have Please not. Please do not insult my intelligence. She should be insulted that she came on there with that crazy wig, or you can see all the dark hair. Even when she been now, you can see up under it and all that stuff. But. You telling a judge, do not insult your intelligence. You know all this stuff going records, you know. When you act crazy like that and do outbursts like that. All that stuff is, somebody is making notes of everything that's being said. Here's a transcript being done. So she doesn't even realize that. So all this stuff you're saying to this judge, he can actually use that and show how crazy she is. So she causing emotional distress. Shit, he should have filed a motion against her. But just listen how she tried to dismiss the judge and everything. But just just continue on listening to this crazy crap. It's not about that. You 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 don't think I don't think you understand what perjury is. It's a Are false statement here? made on Are we done here? Big man had to say a word. I Please said do no. not insult my intelligence. I said no. Do not do that. Do not do that. Do not insult my intelligence as if I do not understand what the word perjury means. Do not. If it's a criminal offense, then it's a criminal offense. Do. Well, ma'am, it, it should not have been filed in district court if you want intentional inflection of emotional distress. Okay, so that's a criminal offense. Do you want, are you are you going to dismiss it and refile it? No, I'm not. No, I'm not going to dismiss it. I will file another case in circuit. But as far as I'm concerned, you can't no, have two cases. You know what she's trying to do? She trying to get him to say that it's a criminal offense because she probably so she can go back and say the judge said it was a criminal offense, not thinking that he has to go by the law. If he even misspoke and said something just arguing with her and she thinks she can fly with that, like no, it still doesn't work. The judge can be wrong, but it still got to go by the law. So next court you go into. That judge ain't got nothing to do with this judge. That was she wouldn't understand. So I watched she trying to hurt. So it's a criminal offense. It's a criminal offense. He's like, no, I didn't say that. But in her mind, that's quite crazy, man. Crazy, crazy. This is on the ma'am, you can't have two cases going on the same issue. Well, I'm not, well, I'm not, I'm not dismissing the case. If you want well, to dismiss it, that's up to you. As a plaintiff, I'm not dismissing the case. He has to make a proper motion. Well, that's on him. But I can also transfer the venue to serve. Yes, that's what I thought, because there were other cases that should have been transferred somewhere else. So that's okay. Okay. I'm going to do What the F is she talking about? There are other cases that should be transferred somewhere else. You started just looking at her like, what the f are you talking about man dude you you dodged a bullet you dodged a freaking bullet next time you better pay attention i know she said something crazy for you took her out don't act like you did she didn't do that what about his what about his costs associated with appearing because you filed it in the wrong court um i need to see the I need to see, because I was not aware, since you said perjury was not on there, I was not aware that a criminal offense for intentional infliction of emotional distress was considered a criminal offense there, that it had to be. I didn't um, say that. Forward. That is not what I said. Yes, that, that is, is not what, what I said. said. That I is what said, said that 
Sir, no, I didn't. You yes, said you that. did. You stated I that. I said that. You, no, no. You stated I said that, that the criminal. You stated that emotional uh, infliction of emotional distress is a criminal offense, and you stated that perjury. I perjury is a criminal offense, but you also stated that criminal that perjury is not on the document that I placed forth before you. So criminal offense. Would not. It's not in the complaint. It's not in so the complaint. It, it, I need you to no, I need you to show me. I need you to show me the document which states that intentional affliction of emotional distress is indeed and in fact a criminal offense because that's the original offense that was placed on there. I never you said, said that. It, I never yes, said did. that. What yes, I, you did. I never said yes, that. Yes, you did. No, I did not. Ma'am. Yes, you did. Listen, listen, listen. I'm not going to sit here and go back and forth with you. I I'm will repeat either. to you what I said. I'm not either. I so, said so that's two that charges. intentional. So the to, you need to be quiet while I'm talking. You need to be quiet. Can you mute her, please? Because perjury is a can criminal offense. It has to go to circuit court. That will not make her hear you. Intentional well, infliction of emotional distress. Was what I said was intentional infliction of emotional distress is something that circuit court has jurisdiction over. I never characterized that as a criminal matter. It is definitely She's not a civil any attention. claim, she just but it is something that can't be done in district court. Now, that's that's what I said to you. You are of the mistaken belief that circuit court does not hear civil matters because you said, well, I thought circuit court only did criminal. You are the one who are mistaken about uh, the jurisdiction of circuit court because that's what you stated on the record respectful too you're a subordinate you're not his boss see uh uh all of this is just out of order time and time again we see black men in America they have to deal with the black Karen and the white Karen when I muted her and now I'm asking her to unmute if she doesn't do something on her end she's still muted so right now she's still muted. I said I'm gonna agree with uh, Pink Book Lessons. There's just too much going on, disrespecting him. The girl, this girl that's having this case, I would have dismissed that shit with her tone. And the woman that's talking to him, yeah, he he's he's an older guy. He probably don't understand this Zoom. Zoom became real popular during the pandemic. Some people used it, but he probably never used because he had people come and sit in front of him. So you trying to let me explain to you how this work and this, this and this. OK, that's your job to handle that. The only thing you need to tell him is like, hold up, judge. Let me get her back on here. That's all you had to say. But no, she got to find her way to like emasculate him. And so she can show how oh, I know Zoom. What the fuck, man? Come on. Now you got to deal with this lady. Then you got this lady and her feelings about Zoom. Just record the thing and keep moving. If y'all can't get this girl back on, then the case just get terminated. I mean, it's too easy. And I have asked her to unmute. She's not looking at this whole situation or suing them for not showing up, whichever one it is. You know, she said one thing in her paperwork. He said something else. But either way, he's wasting the court's time. If she's going to be suing anybody, I thought it would at least be for that water up there. Then she showed up the court at the airport. She was turning in a car that she rented. We all know the day that she rented that car, she knew the return time conflicted with her court time. It wasn't a prompt to court. That was scheduled well in advance. So that was the first sign of disrespect. Walking around the airport, everyone could hear this conversation. Then she filed the paperwork, ended up in the wrong court. Attempted to add perjury, which also wasn't applicable. And then kept arguing with a sitting judge about the law. I'm telling you, the disrespect, this gotta stop. He was even up there really giving her advice, explaining to her what to do next. And he shouldn't have done that. Let her figure it out herself or make her hire a lawyer because she shouldn't be suing that. Okay, so, uh, appreciate it, Pink Book Lessons. Uh, I, I kept her dialogue in here because she did a great job of dialogue. I like what she talked on here, you know, I'm not. 
I'm not up on my shit like that. So I let her explain it because she did a great job doing it. So this woman is crazy. Bonafide crazy. I always tell guys, don't rush into things. We all meet these girls. Y'all see a pretty girl. She's got a cute little shape. Y'all just go ahead and do and boom. Y'all don't check up on her. Y'all don't look at nothing. Y'all don't even pay attention when y'all talking because they give off signs. They give red flags. Just like a guy. A guy give off some red flags. But y'all still want to give that hope that maybe, maybe he want to take me out to eat. Eat this great food. Going to go to this big restaurant. Ooh, I'm going to spend. I'm going to eat my back out. Guy same way. Oh, I'm going to take this cutie here. She talking. Yeah, man, she's sexy. For, I'm going to drive. Ooh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that to her. Look at this shit. Now you up here in court spending your money. You might mess around and have to get a fucking lawyer because of this nut. Never know. Because she's not going to give up. She's not. She's going to sue 91 people in the state of Flint, Michigan. Well, not people. Companies. So just imagine how many boyfriends and not boyfriends, but dudes try to date her or did her wrong that she's taking to court. That's why she thinks she know the law. That mess about emotional distress, that's not a criminal offense. You have, how can somebody intentionally cause you emotional or something over one date? They can't even get you as being a stalker for uh, online for one interaction. So how can that be a thing if he only y'all already met up one time or didn't meet up and it caused you so much emotional distress that you have to sit on here with a judge. You file all this paperwork and then you come back and file it wrong. Now you gotta go file again and you're not gonna give up because you want to get this guy back so bad. And my point is that some of y'all black women are so vindictive that you will go through something like this just to get back at this dude for not showing up for a date. It's ridiculous. Well, guys, hope y'all enjoyed it. I thought the shit was hilarious. Um, shout out to Pink Book Lessons, doing an outstanding job um, commentating this thing. Um, her reaction, uh, just following up on it, because I thought the shit was funny how she did it. So, uh, shout outs to her. I like her content. Please follow her content. Subscribe. Follow mine. Subscribe. Uh, make sure you hit the notification bell. Catch up on some more videos. And this is JP, and I am out of here. Peace.